martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Or tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. Now to get us started, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Sold Out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting! Blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Long Island, New York, USA, El Presidente. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, we are back in the tri-state area tonight. Tate Line, Newark, New Jersey, inside the Prudential Center. The Devils are not here. The UFC athletes are here, and open for some more UFC history inside these walls tonight, champ. From the 76ers to the Devils, you understand the fans in this area know sport. So you better be ready to give them a show tonight or they're gonna boo you out of the building. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing this kick with so much force. All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going early. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. A 
effective punch there by Luke. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, just misses with the kick. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. What a punch. Lee's hook to the body there, his block shot looked pretty good, but ultimately the defense was there. Oh, working hard here against the fence. We'll see if he can get the takedown. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Boy, time up. Three minutes to go in the round. Hit him with the overhand. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Lee. Big leg kick land. It's the elbow there. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Caught that kick there. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. That'll quiet the storm, shot blocked by Lee. Oh, collar tie. Nice head kick. Just out of range with that kick attempt. He is all about that left kick to the body. All right, single collar tie now. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai glitch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up for the big knee to the head. Beautiful body kick. It's such a fast leg kick. Straight punch land. Hook shot blocked, that one was telegraphed. Good job by the defense. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. Lee gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he goes his punch. Oh, he hurt him bad with a jab. Punches. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Single collar tie now. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Big knee. Jab hurt him. Take him down. Whoa! Oh, he might be out. So far, and what a round! Alright, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. Alright, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He room. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he drops it. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, and he 
just keeps on coming with these shots to the liver, looking to buckle him once again. Buckled him earlier in the fight, and the fighter is still open to damage there as he continues to target that sensitive area. And he landed the right hand there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. Clean left punch followed by the right. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Hey. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, he needed the head. You don't know when that leg kick coming. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, to the left side. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Outstanding takedown by him there, all set up by that combination of strikes on the feet. He doesn't throw one strike. He throws them in bunches. And when you start to get punching, he always changes levels to get to his takedown. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack triangle. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Lee. Now connects with a right. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, there absolutely. You well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Big knee to the body. Oh! That one is going to end the fight. News <laughs> hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Trying to stay in this fight. He'll engage in a single collar tie. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to the expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great performance. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shit into the opponent's stop. Beating his leg up. Oh, single. Oh, oh disguise that. Nice trip to get the takedown from the clinch. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Good stick. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice.
distance now. That cut's pretty bad, and it's only going to get worse. You have to be smart with your excuse. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Caught the kick. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Oh, that's a nice oh! strike. He's giving him so many different things right now. He's got him hurt here. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh, nice high kick. Oh, a huge block there. Big ball from Crunch Land. Now he gets back to range. And they step. Oh, he hurt him. Whoa! He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. He loaded up on that right hand, too. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is, you're winning, but it could change in a matter of seconds because then they could be gone. He's got to drop his hip, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound, but very patient ground and pound from such a dominant position. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Lee. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Both fighters back to their feet now. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, knee to the head, that never feels good. Strike there by Lee. Powerful leg kick land. Lands flush with that right hand. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Slips the punch. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Big leg kick land. Well, I'm not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Punch over the top. Lee's right torso starting to bruise pretty good here. Nice body kick right on the elbow. Nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Got the single collar tie. Oh, eats a knee to the head. Ooh, what a punch. 
nice leg kick lands. Hey. And he landed a nice hook shot there, DC. He landed the hook exactly where he needed it to be. And do it with ill intent. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. That was snuck in. Nice strike. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down. Oh, John. he might be out. Checks the leg kick. Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter and he's gonna have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. That elbow got to the target very quick in this clinch. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Big punch land. Oh, he's hurt. Lee's head kick looked like that one was blocked. Oh, collar tie. Body kick now by Lee. Just over three minutes to go. He's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. All right, single collar tie now. Huge knee lands from close. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Head kick. Single collar tie now. Topping his shots pretty well here early, DC. Oh! oh! Unbelievable. Oh, he goes with the punch and he lands. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Oh, and that one snapped the head back. The referee has seen enough. Winner by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. Enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. We send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At three minutes, seven seconds of round number four, declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee!
Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.